Clash is a Saudi rapper who sings about love and other things usually not openly talked about in Saudi society. Saudi authorities found his lyrics very offensive. They arrested him and banned him from singing until he cleaned up his act. Turki is a Saudi man in love. He sings about the first and only woman he'll ever love. They spent hours together on this beach, hidden away from a society they knew won't understand their relationship. According to our traditions and our religion, loving a girl or kissing her without being married is a sin, but we didn't care. Confessions like this one have become routine on a Lebanese station's controversial show, A Thick Red Line. The young host tackles some of the most taboo subjects of the Middle East. His shows are seen in Saudi Arabia. Most guests, fearing repercussions, appear in disguise. Even women have spoken freely about experiences that are rarely discussed in this part of the world. Listen to 26-year-old Bedria talk about spousal abuse. He used to beat me up and burn me with the iron. My whole body is disfigured. He used to lock me up in the bathroom for days without food. He was a monster, but I didn't dare complain. Then a Saudi man appeared on the show and claimed to have picked up dates around Saudi cities and brought them to this room, where they allegedly engaged in wild sex. The episode drew harsh criticism from conservative quarters inside the kingdom. The man was arrested and he might face the death penalty for, quote, bragging about a sinful behavior. The Saudi offices of the Lebanese Broadcasting Corporation were shut down, even though the station is half-owned by Saudi billionaire Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. Change comes slowly to this kingdom, which is the bastion of Islam. But everything can change, Turkey says, with the exception of my love and this ocean. A romanticist's romantic approach to very serious and even deadly societal restraints. In the meantime, many Saudis, like Turkey, take risks and live their lives outside their cultural boundaries, hoping they'll not be caught. Octavian Nasser, CNN, reporting.